Hello, crypto boys and ghouls, and welcome back to the channel, Tales from the Cryptmancer, where we feature content on play to earn games on the blockchain, such as Splinterlands. And in today's video, I wanted to share a clip from yesterday's Twitch stream on Splinterlands TV, where we talked about ranked battles and specifically how the goalposts have moved here around ranked battles what expectations should be as players and how we might want to adjust to this new normal within the ranked battle system and i think it's an interesting conversation i hope you enjoy it remember feel free to catch us on twitch on splinterlands tv on saturday nights at 11 p.m eastern and sunday nights at 9 p.m eastern i hope you enjoy the clip until next time keep stacking those stats I mean, Liberty Guy Off Grid, the, um, the competition is getting tougher. Um, and I've talked about this, I think, on Dwayne's stream, in that, you know, as players, we have to almost sometimes reset expectations. Because let's face it, the goalposts have moved. The, with the removal of bots from the ecosystem, and every player scratching and clawing to win every single game that they can due to the ecr changes and due to the r share changes and due to the ranked battle reward sps changes everyone's trying to win and um, it's causing everyone to up their game to get better to try harder to rent more cards to buy more cards to play as high as you can play and the thing is is when that happens everything gets harder um, all those factors are making it so, for example, if you had a gold deck in the past that you could easily climb into diamond and you were comfortable doing that and that's your expectation, I would say that expectation is probably not realistic now without changes to your deck or your strategy for rentals. Same thing would be true for uh, a diamond player that used to climb into champion. Um, if you were had maybe a kind of mediocre diamond deck without maxed you know meta cards across the board now you may not be able to get the champion anymore um and uh that may require changes to your deck or changes to your rental strategy to achieve that new normal because everything has changed so as players we shouldn't get upset and um you know uh, I guess, too distraught. You just have to approach it and say, look, the game has changed. Now, how do I have to change? Or do I even want to change? Maybe I just say, hey, I'm not going to rent anymore. I'm not going to buy anymore. I'm not going to get uh, champion or diamond. I'll just stick in gold or diamond. And, you know, that's fine, you know. Um, but that's, that's what Splinterlands, the company, has wanted players to do, to make that decision to say, hey, how high can I climb? And how can I look to rent more cards or buy more assets? So they're, they're, they're putting in the right changes to you know, make that vision a reality. Now, everyone may not agree upon that reality, but here's what I would say to that. I would say that the rewards that you're getting, if this plays out the way it should in the market, is those rewards will be just as valuable or more valuable than the rewards you got previously. Meaning, if you're in champion getting champion rewards and now you're in diamond and getting diamond rewards, if the, the whole ecosystem is doing what Splinterlands wants people to do, to play up, to buy more assets, to rent more assets, even though you're getting less like number of assets maybe in diamond, those assets should be worth more. So we have to look at the big picture when it comes to that. I think it's very important. Alan. 